Hey guys, Brad Sinclair here. I'm your sales representative uh, for real estate in Ennismore, Bridge, North City, Peterborough, City, Corth Lakes, and all areas in between. I want to create a quick video here on agreement of purchase and sale. What is an agreement of purchase and sale? Well, that is a quote unquote an offer. So when you go out and you take a look at a bunch of houses and you finally choose which one that you like, you put in an offer. And what an offer is, is um, it's a it's a document, and there is uh, can be as little as six pages, or there can be as many as however bam a number of pages, typically nine. Let's just say, um, and I'll show you why there could be a different amount of pages. But so agreement purchase and sale, and that's what it looks like. Has the names of the people that are involved in the transaction, you know, the actual property that you put an offer on, uh, purchase price, and you'll have irrevocable dates, completion dates. An irrevocable date is how long this offer is actually good for. Uh, you can't be good forever, so typically 24 hours. And completion date is uh, your closing date. So moving right along. There's a lot of pre-printed clauses, but you'll find sections like uh, what channels are included, what um, what fixtures are excluded, rental items. So it spells out everything that's included in the deal and what's not included in the deal, and what is a rental item. Okay. Then you have pre-printed clauses, and a lot of these clauses are are they're pre-printed because each and every deal are closed the same way. Okay. There will usually will never be any changes in the pre-printed clauses. Then you have your signature pages where everybody signs on seal. And then you have your conditions. So this is why there can be a certain amount of um, pages um, more or less on the offer. And it depends on how many conditions. So a typical deal would be conditional upon financing, home inspection, insurance. Those are three things that you want to be able to uh, get before you consult on the deal to close the deal out. So you want to make sure you can afford that particular property and that property is good enough to get a mortgage on. Uh, insurance, you make sure you can get insurance on the property. And home inspection, which is somebody going in, a home inspector, and inspecting the property to make sure there is no major um, problems with the house. You can have other conditions in um, like the sale of a property but you'll also have other statements like uh, the warranties on the well and the septic and other statements that uh, the property must have done before closing. Okay so and again that's for your sales professional to discuss with you. So that is what an offer looks like. Now a sign back. A sign back is something that you also see in an offer and that's basically you're taking the original copy and the seller takes a look at it, may not quite agree with it and scratches particular things out and price is usually one uh, and sends it back to the buyer and maybe the buyer doesn't like what the seller sends and he might scratch stuff out and send it back so when you hear the term sign back so guys it's a complicated document it uh, is not something that you take very lightly. It, um, it's something that your sales professional and you should work on very diligently. My name is Brad Sinclair. If you have any questions on this, give me a call, 705-927-6236. Thanks.